Hey name tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Hill My PC. So I'm feeling a bit under the weather today and I can't give you a full blown out tutorial. But what I do have is Bob next to me. Bob is a friend, yeah? But he's a bit of a stupid friend. He's went and got himself some paid antivirus software, the all-in-one solution. So Bob should have come to me and he should have asked me what to do to save some money. And I'm gonna show you today what to do to save some money. You don't need to pay for no antivirus software unless you really want to. Open up your browser yeah and type in best free antivirus software see you can get a list of websites you can go on all these websites the other thing you need to type in is you open it on the browser and you type best free anti-spyware you see virus antivirus and anti-spyware are slightly different stuff and they work differently consider one as your like a major broad spectrum antibiotics and the other one like a very specific antibiotics yeah Good. Now, Bob, third thing you need, yeah, you're listening, yeah, is a, a, like a maid. You know, a maid to come and clean your crappy thing that you call home, yeah? And in this case, we're going to use CCleaner. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what to do. So, the thing that I use, and I'm going to show you, Bob, yeah, so you don't think I'm lying. See, this is AVG, yeah? I use that. You see that? And also... A, for my spyware, I use something called Spybot. You see, do you see Spybot anywhere? Here's Spybot. Here's Spybot. We open Spybot and say yes. Bob, are you paying attention? Stop scratching and sniffing your bum. That's very naughty. Okay, listen. See, Spybot. It says I haven't updated in more than eight days, right? And the last thing which I do to maintain is C Cleaner here. So I'm showing you what I actually use so you don't think I'm trying to con you. And this is free. So I'm giving you free advice. So listen up, yeah? Hey, go scratch my back. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, so these three things. So I'm going to show you how to download them first and how to install them. So first thing, you want to go to AVG, right? I'm going to put the link in the description for you, right? And you want to go here, say... Uh, the free version you want the free version free version is good and here you're gonna get two options you're gonna get the pro as a free trial and you're gonna get the free as in free um, if you want to try the free trial go ahead but I would advise you not to because you want free because the free trial will end in about a month time and then it's gonna keep asking you to upgrade and then you're gonna have to swap this is a bit of a pain so just click on this one see this free download click on that yeah so it's gonna download yeah and once it's downloaded, see it's downloading now, you want to open it, double click to open it, run it, okay? You're following Bob, yeah? Now, the other thing I need to remember, a lot of these free software, they always come with some other added stuff. So whenever you download free stuff, always choose custom installation. You see here, most people would just click on continue, but you, Bob, need to be smart because you're my friend. And I'm smart, so we both are smart together. So you don't click continue, yeah? You click on custom installation. And here, and you don't want the full protection. Well, you could try it, but again, we went through this is a pain in the bum, okay? So switch to the basic protection and say continue. And now this is selected for you by default, which means computer protection, web component, and email protection. And that's fine. And go ahead. Um, by the way, you can also select where to save it. Here by default, it's going to go into the program files, but you can change location. Anyway, just click on install and it's going to install. Okay, right. But I've already installed mine, so I'm not going to do that. Right. Now, while that, this is installing, you want to do the same for Spybot. Now, Spybot as well. You want to go to this one. See, Spybot. And uh, you want to go the free one. Okay, good. And you want to download the Spybot 3 edition. There you go. And there's a few mirrors. And you can download from their main website as well. So you click in this one. You can try either of them. That's fine. And just click on download right okay oh it's gonna ask you to donate if you want to donate some money to them that's fine if you don't want to donate that's up to you just click on download okay see it's done spybot 2.4 exe all right so you open it and you run it and remember what we said 
no continuing yeah this one's asking for english you click on english and, and uh you install for personal use next i want to protect it next accept the agreement yeah 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 next it's going to install this and just click on install and it's going to do the last thing okay you with me bob good so while this is done you want to get C cleaner again you got see free you got a free trial for professional and professional plus again it's up to you if you want to buy the, the paid one that's fine but i've been using the free one so just download this you following yeah so three things we downloaded okay and you want to set it up again click yes and uh where's it going where's it going there you go english next you can check all these if you want to keep all the stuff that's fine you can also go on advanced and you can install just for any uh, for anyone on this computer or just for you so just just click install that's fine da, 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 there you go and uh, you can just i don't want to really i don't want to view the release notes i'm just going to run it okay now bob so what you have to remember is some programs you shouldn't run together but in my experience you can run all these three at the same time the only difference is when ccleaner is running you can't have any browser open you know what i'm saying so you can close your browser and then the first thing you're going to want to do um you start with the one that's going to take the longest which in this case usually it's spybot so however with spybot bob yeah spybot because it's a free version you can't just double click where's spy but here you can't go there and double click if when you double click it will not run as admin so my advice to you is this go to spy but icon right click on it and then run as administrator you see yeah now it says administrator privilege that's what you want and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to update and this is going to pop open and when that pops open see it says last update was 22 days ago so you let it finish reading then you click on update see that now it's checking for updates yeah, you want it to update okay now sometimes what happens bob can you see this red here that's no good as long as you see red you want to do update again see look it says an error occurred during anti spyware updates so bob in my experience you got to do this about two sometimes three times for it to clear so click again update you see now it's still checking now it's kind of green, but it's not finished. But yours is going to take longer. You know why, Bob? Because you did not do this before. I did do this before. Hey, da -da, look, look, look. Second time. It's green. Bob, let me just ask you a question. If after you click a second time, it still says red here, what would you do? That's right. You do it one more time. So you keep doing it until it goes green. Okay. Once this is done, Bob, now on your version, Bob, because it's the first time you're going to download it, you're going to have a, a window pop up to say create whitelist. Whitelist means it wants to scan your whole system and it wants to um, exclude the files that it considers to be clean. But you should usually do this if you know for sure that your system is clean. But if you can't tell, I would suggest do not create whitelist. Now, uh, Bob, what did we do? We updated, didn't we? What's the next thing? Now you're gonna to go to click on system scan. See, you click on that, yeah, and this pops open. Now you, you can do, the first thing is clean up. If you want to clean up your temporary files, just click on this and that's done. And also here there's some disabled cookies. If you want to do that, you can do that. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But the main thing is this one. You click on start a scan, see? Now you let this run in the background. Don't worry about it, just let it run. Now while this is running, Bob, you can open up another program, the AVG you just downloaded. Remember the AVG? Yeah, good. Right, AVG, there you go. You open up AVG and you make AVG, you don't need to right click, okay? You can just normal left click, double click, it will open fine, okay? Remember, SpyBot, you want to right click because why do you want to right click if you don't you're not going to get administrator privilege and if you don't get that you can only scan but it will not fix okay good now avg you open and hopefully all should be updated if it's not updated it will say update updating just wait for you to update and then go to protection free click on open and once that's done this is going to pop up 
and make sure everything is green and just click on scan now and it's going to start a scan okay good now so you got spybot running antivirus running now you can work on your cleaner cleaner once you open it you're going to get this is your two main ones you want you've got the cleaner here and the registry here so we start with the cleaner just if you click on analyze it's just going to tell you how much you can save but if you click on run cleaner press ok it's going to find all the rubbish you know all the packets of chocolate that you eat that you put under your bed and all the crumbs all these nasty little things that you, you know you do your undies that you don't wash and all that stuff it's going to Get all of that, all of this and all of that, and it's gonna put it in the bin. See, it found all of this. You see what I mean? Look at that. It removed 6786 megabyte. But with C Cleaner, as long as you find things, you gotta do it again. So run it again. Say okay. So you do it for the second time. Now for the second time, look, we've only found like one kilobyte, which is really nothing. So you don't need to do it again. But Bob, what would you do if when you do it the second time, you'd find a few more files here? What would you do again? That's right. You would press run cleaner one more time and you would do this again. Okay, good. Usually three times should do the job. Now, once you've done the cleaner part, you want to go to registry. See, registry. And down here, you're going to got one option, scan for issues. You click on that one. It's going to look. Now, what it does is, you know, registry looks for things which has been left behind when you, uh, you know, installed, uninstalled stuff. It, it leaves some traces. So, see, all this you don't need. So, after it's scanned, 100% scanned, you want to click fix selected issues. Do you want to back up the changes to registry? I don't usually do this. If you want to do this, it's up to you. You're going to have to save it and all that nonsense. I don't do that. Just click on no. And once this pops up, just click on fix all selected issues. And voila, it's done. Now, Bob, remember I said to you, we did this one time, yeah? We found lots of stuff, yeah? Good. Answer me, you damn it. Now, what do we need to do now? Second time, that's well. Well done, Bob. I'm going to give you a little lollipop when you're done scan for issues one more time see now bob do you think it's gonna find stuff now let's see mm, the suspense bob nothing were found see no issues were found which means you don't need to do it again but bob if it found more stuff after you clean it what would you do again that's right you'd click the thing again well done okay now let's go see how our now you don't need to do anything else now okay for now Right, see, our scan is at 65% and our antiviral and our spyware is got like 36 minutes left. Bob, I'm going to, you know, leave it there and we're going to come back and see the when it's done. Because I don't want to make you wait. I'm, I think you look a bit edgy. You want to fall, don't you? Okay, open the window, Bob. Just, just let it rip. All right. Right, Bob, so our AVG has finished, and in my case, it's detected one notification. You can view that if you want, but that's just really something to do with a broken signature, so not a problem. But everything is green, so if there was any virus, hopefully, it would have picked something up. Now, the spy bot is still running. Can you see that? Yeah, it's about seven minutes left. So, while this is running, I'm going to tell you a couple of things now. Antivirus, anti-spyware, and C cleaner is only one aspect of protection. Now, Bob, I'm going to give you a list of things that you should and should not do. All right? Number one, you should always make sure all your software is updated. Yeah, especially your OS and things like your um, your OS and things like your your Adobe, your Flash Player, etc. Java. Right? Now, look, Bob. See. I've, I've done myself not a good thing here. See, I've got a few updates which are important. I should really update that. So that's really important, yeah? Other thing you should do, Bob. See, there's a mistake I've done, yeah? You should not use your administrator account as your user account, right? See, I'm the admin, right? But I didn't even create a password. That's really bad of me. I should create a password and then I should not use this account for my normal daily use. I should create a different account so you can go here and you can, uh, you know, you can manage another account. So you can create, you can, you know, create a new account or guest account, whatever, so that if something is going to try and hack or change your system, then it's not going to be able to do it because you're going to have a password also set up on your admin account. You with me, Bob? 
Fantastic. Now, other thing you need to do, right? You need to make sure that your firewall is um, on. And Windows firewall is usually quite good. So that's on. So that's good. Okay. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Now, here's things you should not do. Avoid torrenting like the plague. Where there are some files and applications which you possibly could torrent from some legal sites most torrents that you do especially music and movies are going to come with a lot of virus so just don't do it and the second thing you shouldn't do is download from any website you come across i'm going to refer you to a couple of websites bob yeah like lifehacker and uh, how to geek has got a couple of websites as to how you can check um, when a website is genuine or not so get some reading done right hey there you go see spybot is done that wasn't too bad was it see in my case it's found a few stuff so 12 results all you want to do is click on fix selected and it's gonna just here you go all ticked off fantastic now Bob remember this is only one combination of antivirus and anti spyware but there's plenty of others okay so PC Advisor, for example, has got a few, yeah, and there you go, you've got like Avast, e whatever, you know, Av Avira, there's quite a few, right, McAfee, I don't know, AVG, you know, you know, there's a few, so you can use a few, but this is the one, this is the combination which I've been using for over five years, and it's worked perfectly well for me, it's also the combination I've given all my clients, you with me, Bob? Now, if you want to buy antivirus, the one I would recommend would be Kaspersky. You know why Kaspersky? Because I like how it sounds. Kaspersky is a bit funny. No, anyway, seriously, Kaspersky is probably one of the better ones. Um, what I would definitely avoid is McAfee. They're rubbish. Sorry, McAfee, you have become rubbish. And Norton, they used to be okay but now they're not all that i mean kaspersky is good if you want to pay but in my experience as long as you do the things i've told you yeah don't torrent uh, don't use uh, your admin account things like that and keep this safe you, you'll be fine you shouldn't have any problem okay however if you want to be even more safer then you should get one of the linux pieces you know look at the penguin come on it's got to be able to protect you in it or you can get one of the fruity pc you know the fruity pc orange Nah, the Apple one. Yeah, but I got one question for you, Bob. Who ate the Apple? So, Bob, remember, this is only one combination. Yeah, you can choose a lot of combinations. Anyway, you got any questions, you know where to find me. But do remember to subscribe down below and let me know. Until next time, peace out.